Hi everyone, today in this video let's talk about how to apply for citizenship in Australia. So without any further ado, let's get started. This process is mainly for those who have received their permanent residence and first let's talk about the eligibility criteria. One of the most important eligibility criteria is you and the people on your application must be a permanent resident here in Australia. As part of the scrutiny, they also check the duration you've been living in this country, which means duration of your residence. When you apply for your citizenship in Australia, you should have been living in this country with a valid visa for about four years and not have been absent from Australia for more than 12 months in total in the past one year. That includes no more than 90 days total in the last 12 months. If you would like to calculate your residency, I'm going to attach the residency calculator down in the description box. So go ahead and check that out. Another requirement is you need to provide evidence of good character per se. You have to submit documents of police checks, which is overseas and also Australian. The next eligibility criteria is you must pass in the citizenship test, which means you should be receiving about 75% in the citizenship test and you must answer all the five questions that are pertinent to Australian values correctly. The two last criteria in the whole eligibility will be you should be having good English language uh, understanding which, which is again part of the citizenship test and you should be able to prove your continuous link to this country. Let's now understand the step-by-step -step procedure and how you can get this done. Once you understand you're eligible for the citizenship, you should go ahead and get your documents corrected. And if you are applying a paper application, all the documents that you are going to submit must be certified. Once everything is ready, you, you can go ahead and apply and then pay online. The cost is about $540 uh, excluding the surcharge. Once you finish applying online for your, um, once you finish applying online, that's when you'll be invited for an interview if that was successful. Now there's two aspects to this. One is an interview and the next one is a test. At this interview, they will confirm your identity as well as your eligibility. And once they have decided that you are eligible based on the documents that you submit such as your identity documents which means your driver's license passport or ME card that's when they're going to check your web that's when they're going to verify your identity and let you know whether you're eligible to sit in a citizenship test or no. This is basically a 20 question test and you'll have to be able to answer um, these multiple choice questions. Uh, there will be about five questions related to Australian values that must be answered correctly in order to pass the test. You should also be scoring about 75% in order to pass the test. Let's say for example, if you don't pass the test, there wouldn't be any effect on on your residency visa but you'll have to book another test at free of cost once again the schedule for these tests are usually pretty much booked for the next three to six months so so receiving your citizenship might be delayed but otherwise there are no repercussions to failing the test however if you pass the test then you'll be invited for the ceremony and uh, then you'll be issued Australian passport the processing time for um, the processing time is usually about nine months which means once you lodge an application, 90% of those applications are taking about nine months to get processed in order to be called for an interview or a test. And once you've given your interview and a test, it is again taking about three to nine months for uh, these people to attend their ceremony. About 72% of the applications are getting processed within three months, 27% of the applications are getting processed within six months, and the last one to 5% is getting processed above six months. The citizenship ceremony again depends upon your council and you'll have to keep waiting for about three to six months for your uh, turn to arrive. And once that is done, it is again going to take some time for them to issue your passport and for the next steps as well. These are these are pretty much all of the steps for you to go ahead and apply your citizenship. I've attached the residency calculator down in the description box. Go ahead and check your eligibility for that. Otherwise, if you like this video, please give like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next week. Until then, bye.